Hello, uh, welcome to a tutorial on the new humanoid API in Roblox. Um, and there's going to be a series of videos on this, probably four or five videos covering every uh, aspect of the uh, humanoid API. Um, so in this episode, I might put more than one in in some episodes since there's some since some of them are very simple. This is very simple, but it's slightly less simple than quite a few of them will be. So um, in this episode, we're going to be covering get get accessories and this is a very uh simple thing to do and but it and, and, it, and it doesn't really do something that can't already be done this can already be done very easily it just makes it um a lot easier to do and more more efficient as well so what it does is as soon as you call it and you have to call it on a humanoid um it will list every humanoid that's attached to uh, sorry, list every accessory that's attached to that humanoid, right? So I'm going to try it out on, the, on this. Um, and that's why I'm wearing so many hats right now, if you were wondering. Um, so now if I just walk into here, it should list every hat I'm wearing, right? As you can see, it does. Um, and then it's leave, right? Uh, so if I, I can test this with just one hat. So if I drop all these... And then I put on... I don't know what these shades are called, but I can see what these shades are called just by standing there. So these are Twitch glasses or whatever right and then we've got this sorry this golden thing here i don't know what this is but if i go in here uh golden hooded cloak right so um you could easily do something like this with a for loop but this makes it a lot easier to do so what how does it work right so it's very simple usually if you were making something like this you'd use a for loop such as this, so uh, usually you have the humanoid defined as something, but just because this is only a tutorial and it's not actually needed for me to define this, the humanoid, usually you do something like have a for loop like this and you cycle through the player's, the, uh, the player's um, character and then see if any of the children of the character was an accessory or a hat, right? Um, and in this case, I'm destroying the hat when I find one. Um, but with this, it's a lot sim more simple, and you need very similar things. So you can easily replace your old scripts like this with the new get accessories command, right? Um, so you have to define this from a humanoid, um, and the hats will the only accessories that will show up are accessories that are connected to that humanoid. So to make it work, all you need is the player's humanoid. Um, and the that's literally all you need actually you just need to play as humanoid so in this case i'm using the touched event when that's triggered it's checking if the per person's a, a person because if they have a humanoid if they do have a humanoid and it's not already working then it will um get the accessories so that so this returns a table filled with all of the hats objects filled with all of the objects so each hat is a, is a single object and it will turn a table with those objects in it um, so I'm saying accessories is the part parent five first child humanoid. So humanoid get accessories, right? So this makes a table of the accessories, uh, and this, you can ignore that. That's not important. And then it cycles through all the accessories and prints them on the screen for 0 0.5 seconds, right? So it's a very simple uh, concept, um, and I hope you find some use for it. So if I if I, it's obviously it's just like an it's an array actually. It's not a table. Um, but if I change the value in here, I'm definitely holding, I'm definitely wearing three uh, hats. So if I press that, you can see here in the output, it says golden hooded cloak. Okay. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, I've been steady on and I hope you find a good use for this. And also you can read this article on my website, um, which I will proceed to show you now, uh, here, sorry, wait, nope, here, right? You can read this article on my website here it has all of this stuff on it um and yeah this will show you how to do it in more detail if you don't understand what i've said in this video so uh thanks for watching and bye